Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the machine. This is Dimbleweed Park. We're about to finish this bad boy up now. Uh, I kind of played off camera a little bit and didn't really know what to do. I tried different things. They didn't work. So I looked it up. We're going to finish this thing. Here we go. First things first, we're going to start with Franklin. Go to the penthouse. <clears throat> Apparently now he can pick up that weird crystal thing. This should be the last episode, I believe. This has been a 95% blind playthrough. I have more than 95%, really. But I just want to finish this bad boy. And the specs of dust are just optional, by the way. I looked that up. That's for uh, achievements. Wait, I want to look at this thing because it keeps jiggling. Okay, let's stand up to Xavier. <clears throat> hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Stand up to him. You're a bully and a tyrant. Whoa, sounds like new ghost found some spunk. Ghost spunk. That was my punk band in high school. Uh... We're all sick of your bullying. We're all sick of your bullying. <clears throat> yep. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. Oh yeah. We're not going to be ruled by you anymore. We're not going to be ruled by we're you. We're not going to take it. I've about had enough no, of you, new we're not going to take it. You have little hands. You clearly have some self-esteem. It's kind of a cheap shot. Okay, that kind of hurt. We all just want to move on. Really. Am I that bad? Okay, I don't want to say that. You have I don't want to say hands. either one of these. I just want to see my wife again. Yes. I'm lonely. I'm lonely. I'm lonely. I'm lonely. I, died and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. Mm hmm That's why we're ghosts. Yay! <laughs> I cheer as he cries. Okay, now. Wait. Secret room? Wait for, wait for Dolores. Okay, eh, let's look at this. This is my key to talking to Dolores again. Okay. Do that, and then uh, clearly, we gotta get Dolores. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, she's gonna head. Thankfully, we still have our map. Uh, to the uh, hotel. <clears throat> okay. Get her up there. So everybody's gotta get closure in this game. Uh. Here. Yeah, you gotta wait for this. <laughs> also, the sheriff is gone because I tried bringing the, the agent Reyes. I tried giving him the confession. First, I tried talking to Willie and giving it to him to, to clear Willie's name. That didn't work. Then I tried looking for the sheriff in the sheriff office and here, and he's, he's not MIA. So at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna look this stuff up. We need to finish this series and start a new series. What is it going to be? Probably Dragon Quest Builders, but or Dragon Quest Builders 2. But we'll see. Maybe even Fire Emblem Fates or whatever it is. Three Houses. I never played a Fire Emblem game. And I want to play it because I love tactics games. And I love tea parties. Okay, can we talk now? Let's do it. Dolores. <clears throat> yes. Dad. You've lost some weight? Well, you could say that. Not sure how it happened, but I'm, you know. I can say it. that, and, and I, I did. I think your uncle had something to do with it. It's okay. I think I know what is going on. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. It's gotta suck find that out. Oh, he's talking now. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. Mm -hmm. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Gnarly. Because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. A simulation? It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us mm -hmm. all. Ah, by 
free us all, you... I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. Mm -hmm. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. You're always my favorite. Uh... Wait, your uncle... Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, <coughs> but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He yeah. was a jerk to me before that. That's true. I know he was. That is true. Right. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on. Yay! I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. This is like the end of that uh, Goodbye, Ghost Dad Dolores. movie with Bill Cosby. Goodbye, Dad. He thought I was gonna say Ghost with uh, what Patrick Swayze did me more. Okay. So, next up, Ransom. Uh, you need to head to the diner, which I didn't even, I wouldn't, I would not have figured that out. I mean, I would have eventually went everywhere. <clears throat> I would have solved it eventually, but you know. The diner, I think, is on Main Street, I think. Apparently, he's got closure with the, the lady at the diner. Maybe I missed that. They probably told me in the game, but... You know, I've been playing this for a while. There's a lot of information to soak in, man. Here it is. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to save it because it says that not to insult anybody when the scene happens, but if you want the achievement, you can insult and then load it. So we're going to do that. We're going to insult and then load it and do it right. Because <clears throat> I want the achievements. Why not? You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Uh, I got this for you. I got this for you, Sandy. Look, I'm not one to get all a fall of energetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just one more show and maybe not be such a... He deserves one last chance, Sugar Face. Okay, Ransom. But only because you got me this nice card. Okay. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It's true. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Okay, so you're not supposed to insult to get closure, but... Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Well, we got a bowler hat? Right. Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. Well, I am. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed bad fine folks. I want the achievements. Let's pick up that bowler hat. I don't wear hats. Oh. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Okay. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Uh, I guess... Hey, you! Dude with a stupid mustache! They were all insults. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? It seems like these are all ins it insults. Is, I hope you bought it a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. <laughs> you will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup. And to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. The mustache guy's loving it. Look he at him. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. <laughs> he never learned his lesson. <laughs> his bee pole instincts ran too deep. I blew it! Yeah, that's the game oh, telling you. Blew it! Uh huh, I know oh, that. What have I done? Oh, I blew it! Achievement? Yay! 
so get ransom's bad ending. All right, let's load it. We got the achievement. Uh, this one right here. Cool. So it said don't insult people, but it seemed like most of those were insults. Maybe just don't insult that one lady, because she does the, the curse. You know you're not well. I got look. I rip. I have. Can you? I want to do. Okay. He deserves. So okay. let's just not insult let's that one lady. Maybe that's it. I'd look into that. He's been out. Never. He's got it all happened. It's like a Wayne's World flashback. Ransom the jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brother Circus. He was about ready. Not tonight. This is I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> let's try this again. Hello. I'm ready. I hope no. I. Hey you. This is kind of a you, know, you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look <laughs> half bad. Okay. Hey you! Kid with a crappy wheelchair. There you go. You should contact the Ransom Foundation about getting a new one for free. <laughs> hey uh... you! See, this almost seemed like an insult too, but I guess it's not really. It's genuine. I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. But they were good natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. He was on top of the world, and everyone loved him. Seem to be without makeup. No. Okay. There we go. Cool. Next up is Reyes. This one makes a lot more sense than for me. Uh, so, A Street. Was it A Street? <clears throat> I think so. He's got to go to the newspaper and deliver the confession, which makes sense. I thought it might be give it to the sheriff or give it to Willie. But it's a newspaper. And that makes enough sense. How can I help you, Agent Rick? Not anymore. I finally have the evidence we're looking for. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Jimmy. Uh, oh boy, there's a lot of information, but I think we gotta go with this, right? Chuck framed my father for That's the what he's interested in, closure. Can you write out the story and get it out before the game is deleted. I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Me too. Almost done. 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 Factory guard cleared and fired. Chuck takes all responsibility. Reporter wins Pulitzer. Nickel News. Yay. Okay, so now we got Ray. Who uh, needs to go... Where was it again? <clears throat> needs to go... Uh, shoot. I already forgot. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this I wouldn't have figured out. Uh, I have to give this statue to somebody in ThimbleCon. It's a Game of the Year award. I guess, okay, the designer. Okay, I wonder if this is the real name of the designer of this game. Ron, or David Fox. Okay. There. Give. Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Don't be a jerk. Game of the year. Yay. I can't believe it. Yeah, he got the same dance as Dolores. All nerds have that dance. They learn it at the age of three and a half. I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Now I Nerd. need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. Secret that I'm paid to recover? I don't remember that part. So she's what was her what was her deal again? Employers are looking for. Uh okay, I guess something to do with probably this, right? Yeah. Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. 
We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my oh. account we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. <clears throat> we honor our agreement. She's a double agent. Oh, that sound. Most annoying sound ever created by humans. That tickled. So she's like that guy in the Matrix who like wanted to be part of the Matrix and screwed over his friends. Alright, last but not least, this I also wouldn't have figured out. Well, I would have looked at the Kickstarter video. Um, I think it's here. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, you gotta use this balloon animal on the dead body for reasons. Maybe I should save the game first. Okay. This can't be good. Uh oh. The game is glitching. Did I do it Tubular. wrong? Tubular. Oh, Uncle look at Jeff that. was right. This must be the wireframe world. The game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. Okay, so I don't have my map anymore. Look at this. This is weird. Gross. Shut down. So I gotta get to the factory, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Trestle trail to thimbleweed. Look at this. This is cool. This is like how it would look back in the day. This is neat. It kind of. Oh, look at this. This is cool. I don't mind not having a map as much now. This is neat. I wonder if they redid everything. Looks like they did. Wait. This is new, isn't it? This is definitely new. Look at this. Huh. Uh, yeah. That's so weird. Because normally, it cuts off at the bus depot and you can't go any further. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, am I going the right way? Can't go into any of the buildings. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay. So we're going to go to the factory. <clears throat> Can I go anywhere else just to look at how it looks now? Okay. There's no more music. We're about to shut down the game. It'd be so funny if it deleted the game. Condemned. Danger. No trespassing. Okay. Uh, let's take the shortcut if we can. Maybe we can't. This is so weird, man. Okay, this is the office. Uh, wasn't there a secret panel? I guess we can't access it now. There's the blast door. Certain death. But she still looks like normal. Lasers. Okay. Fan. But it's all a simulation. This is nothing is real. <coughs> so. So amazing, so much evil can exist in such simple art. Uh... Aha. This looks like the wireframe pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of course. That's what Uncle Chuck says, mm -hmm. and there's still a chance he's insane. I don't think you have a choice in this game, though, do you? I need to push these tubes in to shut down the wireframe pillowtron and end the nightmare we're endlessly reliving. I mean, it wasn't a nightmare 
before you found out. I need to push these tubes in. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I gotta hit the push button. Okay, sorry. Gonna end the nightmare. I mean, I don't know. Ignorance is bliss. I think I wouldn't mind living in a matrix, you know? The steak, it tastes juicy every time. Cooked just right, medium rare. But we're gonna do it. Brave new world, here we come. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. Uh, push it. I need to get up my nerve. Push it real good. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. It'll be okay. Okay. This is it. I'm going to do it. Uh huh. Push it. P -p -p Push it real Let's good. Let's end this. Uh. Did it. Hard one. That was a longer game than I expected. I came into this very blind, very, very blind. I had heard vague murmurs about it. I don't even think I watched the Let's Play of it. Usually I at least watch a Let's Play of a game before I jump into it, but I figured it was free on Game Pass. I like point and click adventures. I don't love them, but I like them. I have a certain fondness for them, uh, nostalgia. And this was good, this was good. This is a good game, um, you know. It kind of, uh, it combines old school point and click adventure, but at the same time, uh, it, 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 it kind of like alleviates some of the annoyances, cause I mean, if you guys played point and click adventure back in the day, you know, I tell you, what was it, King's Quest V or something? There was a thing where you can get a pie and you had to use that pie in the mountains on a Yeti or something like that, but you had, you had there was a way you can like get rid of the pie forever, I don't know, by eating it or giving it to somebody. And it, or there was something you could do where you can lock yourself out. So like, I saved it while on the mountain and I did something that like, basically, long story short, I ruined my save file. I had to start over, which I did not start over. I was like, screw this game. <clears throat> so, uh, but that was the thing. You can, you can hard lock yourself out of uh, games, point and click adventure games back in the day. Uh, obviously you can't do that in this, it seems. Uh, and the puzzles, unlike old school point and click adventure games, they're, for the most part, sensible and logical. You know, it's not ridiculously like, why would you think that, you know? <clears throat> like... Uh, I don't know any examples, but it's just they, they used to have weird puzzles like you got to use the pie on the doorknob and then and then put a snake on it, you know. Oh, there he is, Ron Gilbert. Okay. Anyway, let's see if there's post credits. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is this is this went on kind of long. This went on kind of long. Uh, but I wanted to finish it because uh, I think it was fun. It was a fun let's play. And. uh... That's right, they have uh, VOs for different languages, I think. So yeah, that's cool. If I had to review it, I think this is a... I feel like this is a solid 8. <clears throat> I feel like this is a solid 8. You know. I couldn't really go much higher than that. I think 7 to 8 is where this, this lands. Maybe 8.5 if you really like point and click adventure games. Uh, 7 I think is the lowest you can go because it's a solid game. Okay, should I skip it? Should I skip the credits? I don't think I can. I can't. I imagine the credits aren't gonna be super long. This is, uh, I, you know, designed by what, two people overall? A lot of beta testers. 
Oh, but what game is next, everybody? What game is next? I think it's Dragon Quest Builders 2. I only did one stream on that, and I have not played it since. And, uh... I think that might be pretty fun to do a Let's Play. Fire Emblem, I'm probably gonna be playing. But right now I'm doing Octopath Traveler. That might be finished by the time this episode airs. Prob no, no, it won't be finished. It'll be close. We'll miss you. You say your friends will buy the game. Okay. Alright, well, at least they put some humor on it, but that felt a little desperate. But anyway, <clears throat> this was free on Game Pass, so if you have Game Pass, I recommend it. I recommend it. Especially, I mean, if you're a point-and-click adventure fan, you, I mean, I feel like you gotta play it. Okay, is this gonna be more fourth wall breaking? I hope this deletes the game from my hard drive. That'd be so funny. Oh. Is there post credits? The music cut. Uh huh, uh huh. Credits not found, even though credits are there. Anyway, I think that's it then. <clears throat> is it oh look at that that's cool boy that screen right there I think I saw ransom in there yeah Sewer, I saw sewer. I saw factory. Yep. Okay. I'm going to try pressing some buttons here. Nope. I think that's it. Took an achievement for, for watching the credits all the way. Stayed for all the credits. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. That is Thimbleweed Park. A solid eight. A solid eight. Um, so, yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. And new videos every single day. Streams thrice a week, if not more. This is a good game. But I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to play some other games, and I hope you guys are ready too. So thank you again, and I'll see you on the next series. Bye, everybody.